I think Modern Warfare is a big threat to Battlefield 5 based on the beta from this past weekend. Now for sure you can say that maybe I'm calling things a little bit early here but I think the look that Activision and Infinity Ward gave us with the PS4 beta that was enough to grasp what the core gameplay of Modern Warfare is going to be like and I'm able to say with a bit more confidence now that the Call of Duty game launching this year is definitely going to be a good one. It's not going to appeal to everybody but that doesn't stop it from being a good video game. The reason it's a threat to Battlefield 5, that's what I'm going to try and explain in this video after a message from our sponsor Elgato. If you're looking to start sharing your gaming moments with your friends online, then Elgato with their HD60S capture card is basically all you need. 1080p, 60fps recording or streaming capabilities right at your fingertips. For more information, click the link at the top of the description. Okay then, so why is Modern Warfare a threat to Battlefield 5? I've got a few different reasons why I think this is the case and we're going to go through those today in this video, but we're going to start off with what I think is the most obvious one, the state of the two different games and how Modern Warfare is coming out of the gate as a more polished experience. It is very difficult at this moment in time to say with 100% confidence that Modern Warfare on its full launch day is going to have no bugs whatsoever. This is game development at the end of the day and we have just tons of examples in the current gaming landscape of games that launch with huge hype around them and then turn out to be buggy, messy and just straight up broken at their launch. Battlefield 5 was one of those games where people were quite excited for it to launch and then when it did launch the player base got to find out how broken, how messy and how feature incomplete it was. The alphas in the summer of 2018 they were buggy but those were alphas so you kind of expect bugs there. The beta in the autumn that was buggy as well and that's when some concerns started to grow because of how close we were to the launch and then when launch came around and issues were still present, clear as day, that pretty much clarified that Battlefield 5 was not in a fit state to even be out on the market. Now, Modern Warfare at this moment in time doesn't appear to have that same level of issue that Battlefield 5 did. And I think that's going to give potential buyers a lot more confidence that when they put their money down and they purchase a copy of this game, that it is going to work as intended when they play it, whether that be on launch day or a month afterwards. It puts Modern Warfare in a position beyond Battlefield 5 at the moment as the team doesn't have to prove that they can work on producing a good product because they've already shown that they can do that with this beta weekend. Battlefield 5 on the other hand, DICE is still working to bring the game up to what most players consider an acceptable performance standard 10 months after its launch last year. There's barely any confidence surrounding Battlefield 5 at the moment and that creates opportunity for competitor games like Modern Warfare. Those games can come in with their own offering and they can tempt players to move across and play that instead. It's much easier for newer games to do that anyway because anything that's new is somehow treated as better regardless in the gaming world but when Battlefield 5 has had as many issues as it has some players are looking for just something else to play at the moment anyway and Modern Warfare has a big opportunity to take Battlefield 5 and other first person shooter fans and give them a brand new working experience this holiday season. There's another reason that I think Modern Warfare is a threat to Battlefield 5 as well, the gameplay experience itself. Battlefield 5 is much more infantry focused than past titles in the franchise and this has caused some longtime fans to kind of disengage with this game. I've got friends who play Battlefield less now than they did three years ago before Battlefield 1 launched and that's because there's less of that all out war feeling and more of the infantry meat grinder experience in the game now. Call of Duty is the mainstream infantry centric gameplay shooter on the market and Battlefield for the last few years has been walking closer and closer to that style of gameplay, focusing on infantry combat and they're squeezing that signature 64 players closer and closer together to make that meat grinder experience. So what's now going to stop players that like that infantry only experience from jumping across to modern warfare and liking that 
almost infantry only experience even more. What Battlefield has done here, inadvertently I think, is position itself in the FPS market closer to Call of Duty than it should have and is now offering a less compelling experience than it used to offer because it focuses too much on infantry gameplay. It's lost a part of what made Battlefield Battlefield. It's now too close to Call of Duty. It's not differentiating enough. And that leaves the door open yet again for easy crossover between franchises. Now, I'm not saying that players shouldn't go and try other games, because of course you should. You should go and play whatever game you want to. But from a business perspective here, EA and DICE has scored a bit of an own goal. They've pushed Battlefield harder into the infantry space, presumably to compete with Call of Duty, instead of doubling down on what made Battlefield so different and so iconic. There's less vehicle gameplay, the maps are smaller, there isn't as much teamwork as there used to be, there isn't as much squad play as there used to be. Instead of progressing, I think Battlefield has somewhat regressed with this most recent game, and Modern Warfare I think is going to take advantage of that by being another game on the market now that players can go out and buy. Battlefield isn't really different enough anymore to be proper competition, I don't think. Not for the more casual players anyway, who don't hold allegiances to different game franchises. The hardcore Battlefield fans, I think they're going to stay put regardless. Maybe they'll go and play Modern Warfare, but I think they'll probably swing back over to Battlefield after a few months. But perhaps the newer fans or players who've only recently played Battlefield 1 and now Battlefield 5 those are the players who are more likely to switch over without really thinking about it too much anyway. Those are the players that EA and DICE needed to hold on to. And right now, I just don't really see those kind of players sticking with Battlefield this year. And just to add on to the end when it comes to gameplay, Modern Warfare is going to be taking some pages out of Battlefield's rulebook now, with the addition of larger scale maps and larger player game modes. A 64-player Ground War game mode is supposedly going to be shown off in the beta. Of course, that didn't come with the PS4 beta, but we do have the Xbox One and PC exclusive beta this weekend. And I think PS4 gets included, whatever. There's a second beta happening this weekend. I think that's going to be shown off in this weekend, that 64-player mode. And when Battlefield players hear 64 players... That's a proper interest peaker. I've seen plenty of people say that they're looking forward to trying that out, and I'm definitely excited to give it a go as well. I want to see what the Call of Duty developers have done with a larger scale and larger player number game mode. It could be really, really interesting. And then the last reason that I think Modern Warfare could be a threat is the setting. You can't argue that the original Modern Warfare game released back in the late 2000s revolutionised the first-person shooter market. It took the world by storm, and it brought modern conflicts to the forefront of video games. Previous to this, the market was just saturated with historical shooters, mainly focusing on World War II, and a lot of crossover occurred within that market as well. A lot of games doing the same settings, the same storyline, taking similar stances. Modern Warfare chose not to do that, and it exploded the market with just something completely different. This time around, with whatever this reimagining or reboot of the franchise, whatever Activision is calling it, Call of Duty gets a massive boost purely from nostalgia. There's no two ways about it. Call of Duty this year is going to have eyeballs all over it purely because of the name they went for. And that's just brilliant marketing, really. Battlefield 5 had the chance to do the same with the first major return to World War II in the franchise since the first game, 1942, but unfortunately things didn't go so well. And the tone they went for was a massive issue during marketing, and it is still now to an extent. So Call of Duty has a one-up here over Battlefield in a massive way. And that Modern Warfare title, that's going to sell copies for sure, just because it's called Modern Warfare. That draws more people away from Battlefield at a time where Battlefield can ill afford to be losing more players. It's going to be really interesting to see what Battlefield does to try and respond here. So that's why I think Modern Warfare is going to be a threat to Battlefield 5, or already is a threat to Battlefield 5 really. The PS4 beta, that gave us a really good idea of what this game is really going to be like. I enjoyed it for what it was, but I was definitely looking forward to that 64 player mode, the more larger scale combat. I'd love to see what that's going to be like. That's still what I'm looking forward to most, but overall I had a really good time playing it, and that's why I think 
it's gonna it's gonna knock Battlefield 5 a little bit. I don't think it's gonna kill Battlefield 5, as the YouTube comment sections would have you believe, but it's definitely gonna have an effect on the game overall. But what I'd really wanna know is your opinions. Let me know down in the comment section. Are you being swayed by Call of Duty this year, or is Battlefield where your head's at? Let me know down below. Also, drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, a dislike if you didn't, and until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.